Hey guys, Ramsey here. Welcome to another video. Today we've got a double unboxing and a quick channel update. Now, um, I have to quote a friend, a very wise friend, an older, wiser friend who has uh, been through some things in life, let's say, and he said, Ramsey, I've never been at a point in my life where I've owned less, but I've never been happier. Those are very wise words. And um, basically, you may have noticed I haven't been posting the last couple days, haven't been uploading any videos, and that's because the Ram's going through some things in his life that uh, need to be addressed. Let's just say I'm trying not to lose half of my collection, and um, although it's probably most likely that'll happen, uh, if you can't figure out how a married man could lose half of his perfume collection, well, you might have to think a little bit harder. So, uh, let's just say that I'm going to be away from the channel way more than I have been in the last 18 months or so. Not really by choice. I mean, I'm, I'm still going to try to do videos, but um, I've got some things, let's say, that the Ram has to work to through. However, I am in very good spirits, and um, I've got a couple unboxings for you. So, let's get this show on the road. But first, before we do the unboxings, let me just say, uh, these were bought unboxings that were very kindly sent to me. Um, one of them was sent to me for free, and one of them was given to me at a very, very fair price, okay? So, um, you know, well under market value, let's say. So these were very friendly gifts, um, and um, I'm going to show them to you in just a second, but first I want to do scent of the day. And, you know, whenever I'm feeling a little down, whenever I need a little bit of a boost, this fragrance right here does it for me every time. This is me in a bottle, 100%. Anytime I talk about things like uh, the way that a fragrance makes me feel or, you know, thinking about uh, the good old days and reminiscing um, and, um, you know, this is something that uh, I think is, is a fragrance every fragrance lover should smell, either in this particular form or the original form, and that is Antaeus. Now, it is summer. It is July, and um, you may be asking, how in the world are you wearing a Antaeus fragrance in July? Well, this is actually the Sport Cologne version, and so Ramsey needed a pick-me-up this morning, and man, this does it every single time. It's so, it's like me in a bottle, you know what I mean? Um, it, uh, the castorium in this is out of this world. The best, absolutely the best castorium fragrance. This and the original Antaeus are the best castorium fragrances. And they have that Chanel, you know, even though there's that dirtiness to it, um, it's a Chanel. So it's it's instantly like being in a ball gown or just imagine like a tuxedo or there's this class to it that you just can't take away. Uh, no matter how much you take away uh, from, from a person, you cannot take away their class, their personality, all of that stuff, right? And this just shines through in this fragrance. So absolutely beautiful. Fragrance, Chanel Antaeus Sport. Very hard to find. It only ran about five years or so. And uh, I have a review on the channel if you're interested about sort of my thoughts on Antaeus Sport. Um, but uh, go check out my comparison video. I don't have a full review on Antaeus Sport, but I have a comparison video between the original Antaeus and Antaeus Sport. So... Um, Go check that out if you're interested in, in hearing my thoughts. I'm trying to get to Parfumo here. Bear with me. I think Parfumo's website is uh, going a little wonkers here. All right. I'm going to have to come back to it, I think. But um, let's do the unboxing, shall we? So the first one is from uh, Peter Carter's brand. And this is from Centauri. So this is from Centauri Fragrances. And he very kindly sent me his newest perfume. And I've actually never held a Centauri fragrance in my hand. So I'm very much looking forward to this. And I will say, just like I've said many a times whenever people send me stuff, and that's that. The fact that it was sent to me has no bearing. Thank you, Pete. Very kind of you, my friend. Has no bearing on my thoughts on it. And Peter very kindly told me, you know, say whatever you want about it. Good, bad, and different. Don't talk about it if you don't want to. And that's the proper way, I think, to um, whenever you send somebody something, you know, there shouldn't be any 
preconditions or prerequisites. That's one of the reasons I really wanted to start the channel was I was just tired of the bullshit that people got the free, it was the free bottle brigade. You guys know the story, right? Um, so, so yes, let's take a look. So we've got Centauri Perfumes. And let's see what he uh, sent me as a sample. There's a sample and there's a full bottle in here. The sample is Shambo. Shambo, 100% natural. Reality is beyond speech and thought. Only that which can be expressed in words is being said. But what cannot be put into language is indeed that which is. Wise words. Uh, Jiang Lao Ling, no clue what that is. Midori Ki, no clue what that is. Ud Yusef. Ud Yusef. Is that the uh, Ensar Ud? Zara Zen. Namasomo. Bhutan Blue. Are these all types of Uds? Aroha Kiyaku. Pink Lotus Absolute. Jasmine Sambach. Rose Absolute. Orse Butter. Fur Balsam. Juniper Berry, Dark Patchouli, Oak Moss, and White Ambergris. If this is the one that's the Ensar collab, I'm really excited to smell this. Thank you, Peter. Very, very kind of you, my friend. Very kind of you. All right, let's take a look. The very first Centauri fragrance. I feel like, let me see if I can get logged into this Parfumo because it's, uh, it's messing with me, not having it up. I want to be able to pull up the notes, but it is, uh, it is giving me a hard time. Let's see. Yeah, their website's all messed up. It's like in text form. They must be having problems. All right, let's go to good old uh, Fragrantica. Ugh, hate Fragrantica. So let's see if Shambo is in here. Shambo. Mm. All right, looks like Fragrantica's website's at least working. All right, let me show you guys what the Centauri perfume is. So this is called Elixir. Beautiful presentation. Um, I must admit, I really like the bottle. And and the uh, cap is extremely heavy. Like when you're holding one of these bottles, you feel the weight of the cap. Like it's cap heavy. Like it's just... Wow. Um, right out of the atomizer, it reminds me of a... Um, whenever I used to vape, you know, there was like one of those... Um, one of those uh, vapors for the electronic cigarette. That's what it smells like right out of the, right out of the cap. There's a booziness to it and a uh, caramel bit to it as well. Let's see if it's on um, Centauri Elixir. Man, not having access to Parfumo is like really messing me up. That's my go-to. Centauri. Maybe it's not on Fragrantica yet, which is crazy. Yeah, it's not on Fragrantica yet. That's a shame. Neither is that Shambo. That's not even listed up on, on Fragrantica. Try Parfumo one more time. No. No. It's like uh, in like text form, like the website is all messed up. That uh, that makes me sad. Let me try it in a different browser, just out of curiosity. Parfumo, come on, baby. Fingers crossed. No, no, something wrong with the website. Okay, we'll we'll fight through. Here's the note listing. It's uh, cognac, coffee, caramel, uh, cedarwood, sandalwood, patchouli, and musk. 
and um, awesome, awesome stuff. Thank you. Thank you, Peter. Very, very kind of you. Can't wait to get to wear it and know it. I heard some comparisons to, there's a uh, Serge Luton perfume. Um, and the uh, Serge Luton fragrance is one that I actually reviewed. Uh, it's one of the newer ones. And if I saw the name, I would know. Uh, but I have a review up on the channel. See, that's what happens when you don't do uh, when you don't do videos constantly. You start to lose everything. It was called uh, La, La Participe Passe, which I actually really liked. Go watch my review on that one. I really like that fragrance. I would I would totally buy a full bottle of that. Um, if money was no issue, but I enjoyed getting to know it. So I'm excited to get to, to know Centauri's Elixir. Okay, so that's from Peter Carter. Very kind of you, mate. Thank you. Cannot wait to review that one on the channel. And then, I know what this one is, uh, because this came from a friend in the community. And this is something I'm very excited about showing you, because this is a discontinued fragrance. And I actually did a live stream from on this brand. The brand is DS and Durga. And this is the one. I got a sample of this from Eddie. I believe it was Eddie who even sent me the sample. And um, I talked about it on the channel on, on a live stream. And I was like, man, I absolutely love this fragrance. It was my favorite DS and Durga fragrance, hands down. Not even, there was nothing else even close. And uh, I couldn't find a bottle, could not. I mean, after I did like a positive type review on it, there maybe was a bottle in Europe or something floating around. Someone snatched it up really quick, got a great deal on it. And I was very happy for that person, but um, I couldn't find it. And then all of a sudden out of the blue, Eddie hits me up. He's like, hey man, I'm thinking about selling my bottle. Do you want it? And I was like, absolutely. This is one that uh, my favorite DS and Durga fragrance. It is Spirit of the Glen from the Highlands series. And this is kind of cool because um, the story is, is that DS and Durga actually worked with um, the Scotch company, Glenn Levitt, I think it is, to create this fragrance. And um, see the little back, there's a little backstory on it. Or Highland Peak, remote Caledonia, starched in primeval forest, green mantle, where men of the raven repelled the ignoble few by the bootlegger bridge. Fog, cave stills, steam plumes, the cold water flows, pristine spirit of the Glen Levitt. Barley, pineapple weed, wild chamomile, Scots pine aged in rare woods, Limousine, oak, charred bourbon barrel, touches of sherry cask, unmistakable purity from the land of the smooth flowing one. So this is how it comes, like, like nya. And here is the bottle. This is also the very first DS and Durga bottle I've held in my hand. So two firsts. Uh, and there it is. Spirit of the Glen. Oh man, this stuff. One of the best. And it's interesting that this is also a liqueur fragrance, as is elixir. So two liqueur fragrances today. Uh, this is top notes of pear, grass, and pineapple weed with uh, limousine, oak, wild chamomile, and hay in the mid, and then barley malt, charred bourbon barrel, and sherry cask note. This oak cask barrel note in the base. Um, the spirit of the Glen aromatically references the surrounding countryside of the Glen Levitt, taking into account the flora, rich history, and pristine whiskey produced there. Unknown author from the 15th century, a beloved land is that land in the East Scotland. With its wonders, I should not have come hither out of it if I had not come with noise. Happy is a man who is, is its native. Sweet is the voice of the cuckoo on the bending bow on the peak above Glen. Well, all right. Um, so I'm very interested, very excited about this one. If you want my uh, take on it, go watch my live stream. Go watch my DS and Durga live stream 
where I tried a handful of DS and Durga fragrances, and this one was by far the standout. And actually, this is one of the best uh, liqueur scents I think I've ever smelled. I would put this right up there with Overture Man by Amouage and Roja's Creation E. Um, you know, obviously there's some other... Go I actually have a uh, not a top 10 uh, liqueur fragrance that uh, video that you can go check out. Go check out. And, and I think I even ranked it. So I have one that's unranked and then I have a ranked version if you really want my thoughts on my favorite, you know, uh, whiskey and rum and vodka and all that good stuff. Um, go check, go check that video out. So that's my unboxing today and my little channel updates for people who are still leaving, um, for people who are still leaving, you know, comments and stuff like that, I will respond, uh, just like normal still, I still plan on responding. I just may not be able to do as many videos, but I'm, I'm still going to try. I'm still going to try my best. It's just going to be, I think, a little tumultuous time for a couple months. So, uh, but anyways, thanks for being here for me, everybody. Thanks for the support. I very much appreciate it. Cheers, guys, and I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.